So guys, you've been asking for one of these, a scale model kit catalog from Matchbox. This one here, 1976. Hi guys, it's Moz here from Moz6510 Models, a channel dedicated to help you become a better scale modeler. So, kit catalog. We've got another one today. We're going for the Matchbox Vintage one. It's a 1976. It's a small one. It's not like the big A4 glossy ones. This is a bog standard Matchbox kit catalog from 1976. They basically were this size. If you look back in my one of my other previous videos when I did the original Airfix one, they are roughly like an A5 in size a catalog. But this one here, very old. We're going to have a look at it. Remember, if you want to watch this in as best quality as possible, go to the COG settings and click quality and click 1080p. Also, click full screen as best if you see this in full screen. Anything you fancy or anything that catches your eye, just press pause. And also remember, you can actually slow the video down if you go back to your cog settings and do the playback speed. So, all in all, let's have a go. This is the Matchbox Kits Catalog 1976. Enjoy. I love a vintage catalogue because it just shows you what the model was back in the day, if you know what I mean. You know, nowadays, most of these kits now are actually uh, reboxed as Revel, okay? So they probably have different decals on them. They, you know, the box art's a bit different. But, you know, the thing about Matchbox is that they'll always find a place in your heart because they're probably one of the, if you're my age, which is 40 plus, they were probably one of the easiest to get hold of, you know, even more than Airfix. Um, you know, the local news agents used to stock Matchbox toys and they included the scale model kits, you know. And look at the boxes. This is just, you know, just an example. This is a Hellcat that I'm in the process of just building. I just for, I'm actually brush painting it as well. I'm not doing any spray job, I'm brush painting it just for, just for the crack like. But the box art always looked fantastic. You had the Matchbox with the the red, the orange, and the yellow on the black. It always used to stand out. You know, the, the, the logo stood out. You know, on the back, you had two schemes, and it shows you the the size of the plane, um, you know, the colours, etc. that you need. It was it's phenomenal. You know, once, you know, one of the rankings, so it was an easy build. It was great, absolutely great. And, you know, and the codes were all PK, like PK18. 172 scale but you know you can go through the catalog here and just see all the box art and how you know they were represented back in the day how to make your model for instance you know it's it's fantastic you know here's the pks now 
There it is, the PK-18. That's the one that I was talking about here. And that's the box it came in, you know. Just going back through it, they're always worth a really good watch. And, you know, and I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Oh, look at the three-colour kit. Yeah, it used to come as three colours, didn't they? And they also came with dioramas, didn't they? So you had the bases to put, the you know, the tanks on. You don't see that much these days, do you? You know, look at that. You even got a palm tree there. <laughs> Anyways, that was the uh, Matchbox kit catalogue from 1976 if you like the video click like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified on any new videos any questions any comments put them in the box below and i do reply and i'll see you in the next video cheers